Anisha. How are you doing today? Hey, doctor. I'm good. Okay. So, as you know, at our last visit, I diagnosed you with a bipolar disorder, correct? Mm -hmm. And you know that bipolar disorder is when, you know, a person can go from depressed states to in a very good mood to an irritable mood. So, you know, you've been having that going on for a while with you now. So, I'm going to go ahead and start you on a drug called Trileptol, okay? And we're going to go ahead and let you use that for about two to three weeks and see how that works for you. And you can go ahead and come on back and we'll have a follow-up visit and you can tell me if it's working, do you feel any better, you know? And so, do you have any questions for me, maybe? Um, actually, yeah. I don't really understand what it is. Okay, well, I'm going to start you on um, a 300 milligram tablet, and what you're going to do is you're going to take that twice a day for two weeks. That's what we'll do, yeah. I think I'll do it twice a day for two weeks, and then we'll come, have you come back in the office and see how that goes. Now, as far as any other information about the drug, I can go ahead and explain that to you. Okay. All right. Agree. Okay, so first of all, Trileptol, also known as oxcarbazepine, is an anticonvulsant. And this is what the pill looks like. Trileptol treats bipolar disorder as well as seizures and epilepsy. Trileptol is a prodrug, which means it must be metabolized by the liver before the medicine becomes active, so it's not an addictive drug, and it's secreted from the body through the urine. The exact mechanism of action is unknown, but we do know that trileptol works on the neurons of the central nervous system. It stops the neurons from firing so much. More specifically, it works on the sodium channels in the neurons. Trileptol deactivates the sodium channels, which prevents the signal in the neuron from traveling, which ultimately prevents the firing of the neuron signal. This also prevents the release of glutamate. Glutamate is a neurotransmitter that is involved in the excitatory signals in the brain. Some side effects of trileptol are weight gain, headaches, birth defects in pregnant women, and it also is not recommended for women who are nursing. Leukopenia, which is a decrease in the number of white blood cells in the body, vomiting, and sedation. Side effects may increase with dosing. And also, if you have these side effects, you might want to wait it out a little while. And if that doesn't work, we can always switch medications. Elderly people are also more susceptible to these side effects. Hyponatremia is a deadly side effect of trileptol. This is a life-threatening disorder where sodium levels in the body are low and water levels are high so the cell begins to swell. Patients on trileptol should be monitored. The picture on the left shows the sodium levels in the body of a normal person. The picture on the right shows the sodium levels in the body of somebody with hyponatremia. There are some substances you should avoid taking while on trileptol, such as MAOIs. And if you have been on an MAOI, you need to wait at least 14 days before beginning trileptol. If not, this could cause a depressive effect. Alcohol and other anticonvulsants may also cause depressive effects. You should also avoid birth control because trileptol lowers the effectiveness of birth control by lowering the levels of the birth control hormone in the blood. You should also avoid SSRIs because both SSRIs and trileptol lower sodium levels, which in turn will cause hyponatremia. I hope I answered all your questions about trileptol. I'll be keeping in contact with you, but if you have any questions, just feel free to call me, okay? See you next time.